All right, we are still talking sneakers, but this is from a brand that you might not necessarily know. Some of these diehards or people who are really on this team, they might know about it, most likely or not. They're quite a new company. Have you heard of, of in particular, we're gonna be looking at the Arm Runner 2.0. Now, before we get into the shoe, let me tell you a little bit of background on this brand company. So, this is a UK-based company based in Cheshire. They were founded in 2018 by two brothers. And the brothers weren't necessarily into, well, their careers weren't fashion-based. You know, one was a computer, I believe, and the other one was working in the medical field. Something along those lines, anyway. Brothers must have came to their head or came to some conclusion and decided they want to do some fashion and actually took a leap and actually left their jobs in order to pursue this. Now, that is quite uh, inspirational. They started in 2018, they've gone through the pandemic and they're still out there. Okay, the On Runner 2.0. I'm gonna start off with the box. I always say this in my videos, I don't really talk about the box, but let's talk about this one. Let's talk about this one. Okay, cool. So what we have here is quite a plain box. And you can see that I've got this in a size UK9 European 43. One thing I like about this box is it feels sturdy. It feels like a real box. It feels expensive. And then we have the on written here which is quite simplistic but it gives that designer that designer touch now let's move on open the box what do we have so we have within the box dust bag branded on which is quite a nice touch You've got the sneakers which are individually wrapped for the arm branding all over the tissue paper. And then once you take it off the tissue paper, the sneakers itself is wrapped in plastic. In terms of the eco worries, yeah, it's not a good look that you've got so much paper, plastic, you know, and use it just for one sneaker. However, it does give you that premium feel, that premium look. But I find that the presentation and to have that feeling that actually I've bought good quality stuff, you don't really get that these days. You just get a box and get sneakers in it. But this particular brand gives you that feeling that, oh yeah, you're buying into quality. I haven't told you the price, but that will come in a bit. So what do we have here? So let's see, on Runner 2.0, what do you think? What do you think? You know what? When I saw these sneakers, what sprung to mind is Carlsberg. I'm not sure if a lot of people have seen this Carlsberg advert, but you know, there's a the Carlsberg advert said, if Carlsberg was to make so and so. If Carlsberg did supermarkets, they would probably be the best in the world. This is how Carlsberg would deliver it now the advert could apply to this in terms of air for one if Carlsberg was to make air for one then this is possibly how it could look all right cool there's too much waffle going on so let's start let's delve into this so you got the upper the upper consists of suede on the front toe box you got suede towards the back and you got different color suede so you got this lighter gray suede 
at the front of the toe box. Towards the heel, you've got a slightly darker suede and you've got a suede which is darker still towards the rear. And I think these really look nice. And I do like the fact that you don't just have one color, you've got the different blends. And I think that's a really nice look. Then you have the leather, and as it was said on the website, this is Italian leather. Now, I'm not a leather kind of sort of expert, but it does feel quality. It does feel premium. And as I said, maybe because of the cup sole, and we'll get into that, but it does feel very sturdy. Then you have towards the rear of the heel, you got suede, which is black suede, with the on which is foiled is it fold etched or foiled stuck on um, i'm not sure what the term is but you got the on logo at the back you also got the perforation holes at the front and this is what gives us the air force one type feel tongue which is leather still and uh, it's got some padding within the leather which is which is nice so it's quite comfortable and then you got the arm branding at the top what i do find funny is the fact that the tongue it's quite short, look how short the tongue is. Now is that good or is that bad? I don't know, I think it's to do with the slim minimalistic feel or look of this sneaker. Okay, you can see the arm branding on the inner sole and the inner sole itself, you can see the inner sole itself, it's got some cushion into it. So the laces, the laces are flat laces with a little shine, which is really nice. I do really like the top of this sneaker, the upper upper is quite slick slim and it's you know you can see the front toe box is not too thick so the outsole outsole is a cup sole rubber based it's called b light rubber based outsole so there's no midsole it's just one sole so i think that's what you call a cup sole it's just one sole it's just one solid piece and it says that all this design is being laser etched which is quite cool And then you got all the stitching, so it's stitched to the upper. Now, as I said, the look of this sneaker looks quality. It's very solid. The only thing I do feel that this sneaker has, which is not normal, is it feels almost like a shoe, like a solid, good quality shoe rather than a sneaker. Now, price is £115 in the UK. I know it's sold in the US. There is a on.com website. It is sold in the US, but I just don't know what the US price is. But if you use normal conversions, it's probably around uh, between $120, $130. In terms of comfort and feel, the shoe feels like a shoe. So it is a solid shoe. So I would say that you're probably gonna have to break it in, because I know that I've worn it once and it felt a bit tight. I would say true to size, but if you want that extra space, then maybe go half or even one up because it is a solid, solid shoe. Anyway, the Arn Runner 2.0, you let me know what you think. If this is the first time you've heard of this company, comment below and let me know what you think. If you jump onto the website, have a look around. Yeah, let me know what you think. <laughs>